Good day everyone, Ali is here from Safi Financial Network. Today is November 26, 2022. Okay, here is the S&P 500 monthly chart. This is weekly analysis video for for the last week of uh, of November. And market had a nice bullish candle so far months of November as we had a bottom uh, in October and then a nice bullish engulfing pattern to the upside and then here is another one um, just the confirmation to the upside but this upside would be a bear market rally so far as you see we are in a bearish downturn downtrend obvious bearish downtrend we are below our SMA 20 in monthly chart which is very very important just because if you follow my previous video as long as we are below this SMA 20 in monthly chart we are in bear trend so any upside would be bear market rally and this is just the second month second consecutive month for the bear market rally we are in seasonality bullish months or bullish periods of the year so november december always is bullish lots of people are calling for a congress grid lock and a santa claus rally or so on so that's why people are getting uh, more uh, optimist about the market about the future of the market but i'm not sure if this is the case this is just a dead cat bounce or bear market rally or relief rally which is good which is healthy in any single market bear market bull market we need to have correction and this is just a correction to the upside some people are saying just because we are um touching this consolidation area and bouncing back up especially sma 50 on the monthly chart so market already bottom i would say yes it is bottom but this is two three months bottom and that would be uh, probably that would last uh, till next two three months maximum three months i wouldn't say market is taking out this pivot next month or so but uh, we are pretty close to the upside target for the bear market rally so just if you are in long position make sure that trail your stop or just make your uh, stop loss at a good certain level in profit just because if market is coming back down it's going to come back down sharply and it doesn't give you any any chance to get out your position if you don't have any stop loss or any um, any hedging uh, of your portfolio as well so just be careful on that one going to weekly chart so here is the weekly chart and weekly chart tells us we are getting close to the upside target for the bear market rally why this is obvious bear trend line and this is a nice formation this rsi formed and that's why we had this rally and this is the area that we were waiting for for a long time and i was to be honest waiting for this area but i didn't reach out to this so that that was enough uh, market reacted pretty uh, well to SMA 200 on weekly chart, which is coming to this bullish consolidation as well. Uh, right now, market closed above all the moving averages except 150 in weekly chart. So market just uh, recaptured 20, 150, and 200 in weekly. Right now, we are getting back to this nice basing area so this basing area initiate this drop to the lower low so this is very important so that's why we are seeing kind of hiccups from the market last week was bullish except the last day so that that was like a, um, a thanksgiving holiday a rally which is which is normal which is the case in every single uh, thanksgiving or any holiday rally we should see a light volume a light volume favors to the upside and sure enough we had the same case last week but as you see here we are just getting back up to to the very very important decisive moment for the market which is 400 to 400 um 196 uh, sorry 4000 to 4196 that would be the area for for market to make a decision if it wants to take out this trend line and take out this pivot to the upside 
So that would be very, very bullish development. I'm not sure if the second part happened. I'm just looking for, if, if I'm just looking at my cycles, my cycles is telling me we should see a top, a major top in early December, then another major top in, in early January. So I'm not sure if the second major top in January would be higher high, double top, or even lower high. But the first a major top is coming pretty shortly next week. So um, just be careful about it. And also, um, just want to tell you about this. Uh, nicely, RSI is not getting to the bullish cases still. Still, momentum is weak. Momentum just barely above 50%, which is 52%. Stochastic-wise, momentum is showing another overbought condition. Any overbought condition within bear trend, that would be selling opportunity or shorting opportunity, right? So if you see um, MACD is a lower high as well. So if you see any divergence in MACD, that would be great signal. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me a great signal, but the stochastic wise or momentum wise, we are uh, pretty uh, solid for another reversal. And probably this week would be the last week of the rally, this rally, I mean, and probably we will get back to the burst side just because a fast line and a slow line is getting back to the overbought condition within the trend line. And I'm not sure if the next drop would be just a drop to a corrective drop to here or probably to the lower low. But I would say lower low is a fair possibility in next uh, three to six months, at least uh, uh, below, uh, uh, below this pivot low. Okay, going to um, daily. Let's zoom in here uh, just a bit. So this is just a draft that I expect market is doing. And we had higher high. I'm not sure if this wave one is ended up here. We kind of, this is very important, just because we kind of hitting the SMA 200 in daily basis. Uh, first of all, market recaptured all the moving averages in daily chart except 200, which is um, uh, a long-term moving average. And also, it reaches to this uh, top, which is a wide range bar top, all right? So that is very important. This bullish consolidation uh, reacted uh, nicely to the upside, as we expected, but momentum is weak. So there is no... Uh, strong momentum at all. If you just open up the indicators, you will see that. So here is MACD is coming down. MACD is coming down in three uh, pivot highs to the lower lows. So this is MACD histogram. And it shows momentum is falling. Momentum is down. Momentum is not upside. Within the uptrend, if momentum is down, so this means this signals uh, market is uh, ready for a reversal or consolidation. So that's the case for the momentum. And the second thing that I want to mention here is we are reaching just exactly to the top, another top in RSI and nicely reversing back down. So I'm not sure if this is just a corrective move in RSI or this is just the final top in RSI. And probably we are coming back down to this area, which is very, very important as well. So when you just uh, think about these things, uh, you will see indicator wise, we are getting uh, to a reversal, which is coming along with our weekly um, analysis. And uh, the weekly chart tells us the same thing, that momentum is weak and we are getting to the upside of, of the rally. So that would be a great, uh, again, nice opportunity to think about the sell or even think about the uh, taking profit off the table if you're in a long position and you can just uh, think about uh, probably we can get back to short side. So for the previous rally uh, we had in August market recapture all the moving averages reacted to SMA 200 weekly um, daily basis. Top of this candle, exactly middle of this white range bar, and nicely coming back down. Technically reacted to this trend line, a fantastic technical perspective, right? So everything is coming along together. 
and market just uh, sharply sold off after that going to the lower low right now we are having the same situation unless we are um, going to break out to the upside but uh, I don't think so it's gonna be the case I think it's gonna be uh, the downside and uh, this momentum this weak momentum stochastic wise especially in the weekly chart we are seeing especially my cycles as well everything is confirming except the price action and as you see here my tone is not certain just because I don't get confirmation from the price action which is my first 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 priority right so my first priority is price action if we see something like this or something like this high reversal to the downside high reversal to the downside high reversal to the downside low sh no shadow so this is a nice high reversal to the downside but that was ended up to the shadow to the big shadow which is uh signaling for buyers right so this is another one high reversal to the downside no shadow so this triggers a sell-off is initiated to the market so right now i'm just looking for a high reversal to the downside with high volume so if we see a wide range bar to the downside engulfing uh, the last five candles that would be great uh, confirmation based on the price action and everything that i just came up to to form this pattern and this pattern would be a nice another nice uh, qm or even head and shoulder we could see a reaction to this area probably if it doesn't react to this area so that would be great bounce for reload to the short side especially 4011 4012 that would be great area for for the short side if market just coming back down sharply bouncing back up and that would be great area just because after that i think market is uh, is getting ready and is slicing and dicing to the downside sharply probably to this double bottom or even lower low to uh, 3200 uh, 3400 right so that's the case let's see how it goes we are not forecasting we are just the uh, uh predicting even i'm not predicting i'm just uh, looking at the market to be at the right side of the trend so especially when i see something like this i would rather to stay on the side or a small short position then that would be great setup for us i'm just waiting for a great setup to to have a nice profit out of the market okay i think i wrapped up everything if you like this video please smash the like button subscribe to our channel and and have a good weekend. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.